this application has been designed to allow you to populate all of your solid edge file properties um, whether you want to use it with the built-in data management um, so setting these up will allow you to index them and help you search for files easily um, alternatively it can be used as a data preparation tool for um, getting files ready to import into a PDM such as Team Center Rapid Start. So in the um, list here we've got um, a number of files that exist in a directory um, that may be subdirectories underneath there as well depending on the setting here. Um, we can select files by their type so we can um, select um, draft files, um, assembly files, um, part uh, sheet metal files and um, we've got the option here to select and deselect all. Um, alternatively you can do a um, selection on a certain field so we could say select anything that has blanks in the document number field um, so that's sort of selecting it for population or we could search for a specific field so we could say let's look in the title field for a string and then you go select and it will find anything and highlight it so um, a lot of the data data um, manipulation works on the selected fields so that's how we we do that um, for this instance so we've already got these ones that are selected us maybe maybe decided that this is too long a string so we'll take out this part and put it into the um, comments field so I've got a um, option down here to split so um, we've got I've got it set up so that n is for any numeric character a is for an alphabetic character and um, you can either put sub um, repeated values or a star to indicate any multiples so we could go um, so five characters followed by three numeric and a space um, I'm not going to worry about either of the other two fields and we want to copy it from the title field into say comments and rather than copy I would like to cut it so I'll cut it out of here and put it into here and we just hit split and then it sort of just pulls that out from that other field um, so we can also do something like um, populate a field so we've got company as being an empty field uh, we could do say select all and we'll just blank it um, a full string into there so specify which field it's going into um, say company and just go add and as you can see it's sort of color coded so the button color codes with here so you can see what has been modified and um, sort of in which, which field so let's say look for certain fields um, I can go deselect all and then um, I can do a selection by string so again um, six character uh, six numeric characters um, for all of these ones so we can go um, with a uh, percent sign means the last character and we can go select by file name so you can see that we've got most of them what I'm interested in is these ones that are here um, I don't want to work with these so I'm going to archive these so I can invert my selection and just have those and then as I said I can archive it so um, under here I've got an archive folder and that just drops them out and puts them into that archive folder for me um, then maybe um, let's change the selection to all and um, as you can see in the title field um, we've got a semicolon and um, you know, maybe you decide that you don't want um, a semicolon it's not a valid character or whatever so I can do a replace so semicolon for say a dash and we're looking in the title field and we go replace and you should see that all of these will um, then come through to be dashes rather than um, 
semicolons. Um, where, when you're going into something like Team Center, um, you may decide that the um, uh, the main field is the project name, and you've got all your values in title. Um, notice here that the draft files don't actually have any values, so um, associated with pretty much every draft file, you'll have a um, principal part or assembly, uh, which if you can sort of see down here, I've probably got values. So I've set up a button on here which says um, we can copy draft properties from the parent when it's blank. So this one takes a little bit longer. It's got um, open to open solid edge and um, find out what that link is. Then it will go back and um, um, open each of the um, files, um, which we'll see here, extract the um, part number uh, or assembly file name. And once it's done that, it can then go and get the properties from that file and populate it in here. So, um, yep, yeah, going back to um, the other options, we want to maybe switch those around. So, um, in here, we've got the option to um, copy from the title field and put them into the project name. And we've got the option with we want to swap, overwrite the value that's in title to whatever is in project name or we can just delete from the original, so a copy from one to the other and then delete this one. So once we go switch, you'll see that it sort of pulled out those values for you. Um, so when we finish, we can go update properties and that will um, apply all of those settings that we've um, got in here. Um, I'm just gonna go through to a different folder and you'll see that it sort of goes through and take, takes a minute or so just to load all the files. Um, there's, a, there's a few in here, so it um, just takes a bit of time because it's got to pull out all the properties. As you can see, this, um, this folder has very little in the way of properties. It's got an um, author, but um, nothing else in here. So um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go through and search for a um, string. So I'm looking for um, alpha, for numeric, and then a um, dash, and then the revision number. So if I put a, four ends, and then for the separator is a dash, and then two ends, and a and, um, dollar sign for the end of uh, last character, I can then say let's extract all the file names here that match that and you can see that it's pulled those through. Um, we can also do the same for uh, revision number. So if we expand this a little bit you'll see that um, you know this one's last character is the revision but then there are others in here that don't match that but wherever it does you can then um, make that selection nice and easy and pull that information through into the um, um, fields. Um, you may also, um, if you're going into something like uh, Team Center, it has no real directory structure, but um, your directory file names may be relevant um, for uh, sort of classifying certain parts. So we could say, um, let's just go back to that folder there and any of the um, folder names underneath there, it will pull into a certain field. So I'm going to put that into the keywords field and just go copy. Uh, it's just telling me that I need to have files selected. So I'll go copy. And as you can see here, um, we've got the ability to pull all that information through. Um, on top of that, um, I've added the ability to um, just select a field or row, and um, I've picked one that hasn't anything in it, so let's go back to that one, and we can assign 
um, a value if we want to and just go update and that allows me to manually edit fields as well so um, yeah just get, gives you a, an idea of, of what is um, available um, we've got a button here um, you can specify maximum field length so if you're putting it into a ERP system or something um, you can specify what your maximum field length is so keyword may only be 10 and then you go highlight and anything that exceeds that value you can quickly see and then you go go and make an edit um, so you could say replace all occurrences of one to another and um, that updates it so um, as you can see you can quickly change and set your settings uh, very quickly and um, you know this this um, can actually take quite a while um, if you're doing it manually file by file or even in the um, solid edge property manager